Now, I think it's very fair to say that two divisions that really have it the worst at the Walt Disney Company right now are both Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios for several reasons that we have gone over multiple times before in the past. But focusing on everything that Kevin Feige and Bob Iger have been tangled up in has a lot to do with their usage of their DEI agenda getting spilled into Marvel's Phase 6, and yes, even Phase 7 and how they are doubling down on that, However, when it all involves actress Jenna Ortega, there's been a lot of drama happening behind the scenes over at the Walt Disney Company, especially for, of course, everything related to Bob Iger's push with his agenda. And after lying to both the shareholders and what he likes to call as well as the customers, after he was actually promising to quiet down the noise months ago. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about Bob Iger that I think that we could all agree on here is that he is nothing more than a liar. This is why I like to call him Bob Liger. The man just can never say an honest thing or an actual truth that has to do with his plans for the Walt Disney Company. Now focusing on the current status of the Disney Company and what's going on with one division in particular that has a lot to do with Jenna Ortega really causing Disney to pretty much go down to their knees and really going into begging mode when it comes to Ortega's involvement over at the company. Let's get into all of this, shall we? Now, one thing that we do know about when it comes to Bob Iger is that he is desperately pretty much, you know, focusing on his cost containment plan. And he has made this openly clear that this is all about making less and spending less on all projects, whether it's Marvel, Star Wars, or just Disney in general, that's what it's all about. However, with Bob Iger already heading into serious damage control for both Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios, one major development now has much to do with actress Jenna Ortega, after she recently took a serious stand against Disney's agenda and why it's creating panic for the Disney heads already as it is. Now, one crucial update to the Jenna Ortega situation at Disney now has to do with Marvel Studios after those like Bob Iger and Kevin Feige have been in serious talks with Ortega for her debut in the Marvel Cinematic universe as an important role in the MCU. However, Ortega recently already shot down her massive role for the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy and also a main animated film that was planned to be as big as Frozen. Recently, however, Ortega threw Disney into a state of panic after she walked away from three whole Marvel projects, both for Marvel's Phase 6 and Phase 7, as Kevin Feige is searching for a new actress, specifically an It Girl, in Hollywood, to play a new main character in the MCU that was supposed to debut as a cameo in Ironheart for starters. Ortega was reportedly offered a multi-million dollar deal right off the bat that was said to be around 15 million altogether for her cameo in Ironheart and two major MCU films, one of which was said to have been Avengers Secret Wars. Now after Jenna, her agent and manager, which by the way consists of her team, were pressing Disney to get rid of their DEI agenda in those selected projects that they were offering Ortega to get involved in. Bob Iger and Kevin Feige refused to dial down or even water down their agenda that would focus on that instead of the story or the character. This was something that was very, of course, much bothering Ortega and her team that was considered the deal breaker for Ortega's major entrance into the MCU. In fact, believe it or not, Ortega was already involved technically speaking in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in Iron Man 3 as the Vice President's daughter, and both Kevin Feige and Bob Iger were looking to create a retcon surrounding that character in particular to turn her into either a new villain and or a new hero that would be major in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, focusing on a variant of that character from another universe that gains powers. With Ortega now officially out from those plans for her return in the Marvel Cinematic Universe already, this is causing Disney to rearrange all of their plans for Ortega's new character that would be retconned from her previ previous minor role in Iron Man 3. 
Now the other project was going to be a film for Marvel's Phase 7 that would focus on her character as one of the main leads in that movie that was going to offer her $7 million alone. Ortega now only had, of course, problems with Disney and Marvel Studios for their agenda focusing on DEI over story, but rather she also fell into financial differences with the Disney heads, as she reportedly believed that she was being underpaid for such a big debut slash return in the Marvel Cinematic Universe when comparing herself to those like Brie Larson, or even of course Tatiana Maslany for what was planned for two major films and a cameo for Ironheart. Disney analysts projected that Ortega and her involvement in Pirates, the animated film, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe all together that is now dead with her involvement, would have garnered billions over time spanning a couple of years, roughly five whole years. This comes in the wake of how Bob Iger and Kevin Feige have been looking to hire the new It Girls in Hollywood, including Sydney Sweeney, which also didn't work out for Pirates of the Caribbean, to use that as a strategy to bring in fans of those actresses. Now guys, let me just stop here for one moment. Now, the fact that they were using or trying to use that as a strategy by just using familiar faces just for the sake of doing it to drag in those fans goes to show you how weak Disney has become and how desperate they really are to get those numbers, box office wise and all those different st statistics, right? So, yes, I think that Ortega would have definitely been accepted within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but let's face the facts here. She saw for what it was. She knew that Disney was focusing on everything related to DEI. She saw what happened to, and this was separate from Disney by the way, but she saw what happened with Madam Web, for example. All right, something that was 100% endorsed by Kevin Feige and how he was rooting for that by Sony and that didn't work out. It was going to be a similar scenario to that with Ortega's character and her involvement in Ironheart, Secret Wars, and a new untitled movie for Phase 7 that would focus on her character as the Vice President's daughter gaining powers and really coming from a different universe, so to speak. So it was going to be a retcon to a degree. So again, uh, this comes in the wake of how Bob Iger as well as Kevin Feige have been looking to hire all characters, or should I say actresses like that for those characters. Now, much like how Disney pushed for Taylor Swift's involvement in Deadpool 3 as the Dazzler slash Lady Deadpool, which surprisingly was not a gesture from Ryan Reynolds, both Bob and Kevin reacted in an aggressive way toward Ortega's team as well, such as her agent and manager in the process, after Ortega made the ultimate decision to shoot down those roles for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, essentially completely parting her ways from Disney after trying to get involved involved in the superhero trend. Now look, I think that if you're any actor or actress right now, it's probably best to stay away from superhero movies. And I pointed this out many times before, that video game adaptations are going to be the new thing for the next 10 plus years, alright? This is a given fact, we're seeing it unfold right now. We see Fallout on Prime, we see everything happening with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 with Keanu Reeves coming in a shadow, we see uh, Duke Nukem, the live action film, actually in the works as well. There's a lot of things happening. So overall, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.